KenRecords.com. Left behind lens cortex will swell up. This is why you should not leave residual cortex in the capsule bag. It swells up to many times its size. So here's a patient who's referred to our guest surgeon. Patient had cataract surgery done elsewhere, and they thought, you know, there's some cortex remaining. It's hard to get it out. Maybe I'll just leave it alone. This is what happens. The cortex, the lens material, the lens proteins swell up with time. With BSS, by the next morning, if you leave them in the, in the capsule bag or in the eye, the next morning it's swollen up to many times its normal size. So that's what ends up happening here. Look at that. Swollen up lens cortex. It looks like a lot of lens material right now, but at the time of the cataract surgery, it didn't look all that bad. Eh, there's a little bit of lens material there. This is what happens, though. So you've always got to keep this in mind. You want to remove as much lens cortex as you can. Don't leave it behind. Don't just think, oh, it's going to go away in the cascade of inflammation. That's not necessarily the case here. And again, the problem is it's going to fall into the visual cavity or visual axis. Now, when you have the patient post-op day one, you're like, wait a minute, where did all this come from? Yeah, look at that. It swells up to many times its normal size. So you get a little bit of cortex. It may be three, four, five, six, seven times as big. It's like, whoa, where did that come from? Well, it's the lens proteins that mix with the water in the eye, the aqueous in the eye, and they just swell up to a huge size. So now what do you do? You got to go back in the eye. So here our guest surgeon has a patient that was done elsewhere with uh, cataract surgery, and you got to go back inside the eye like this and use an IA probe and clean all the stuff out. Now, it's much easier to move it now than later. You could go in like now with the phacal probe, but you could probably get the whole thing out with just the IA probe. So here's the phacal probe going inside the eye. It's really lens cortex. Look at that. It just goes right away. You don't need phacal power here. So I would just use the IA probe. I'd probably just use by manual IA, and all this stuff can come out. Yeah, you want the IA probe for sure. Because you need to get all that lens material out. And then the patient's going to be happy. Don't just think, oh, the inflammatory cascade is going to help dissolve it. Yeah, over the course of, what, a year? How much do you want the patient to suffer? No, just go back in the eye and remove it. I know everyone hates to go back to the operating room or turn trip to the OR. But if you need to, you need to. What can you do, right? And look, it's not always the surgeon's fault. Sometimes you get patients with really weird anatomy and you can't get all the lens material out. Or sometimes you get patients where... You don't see all the lens material. Sometimes it gets hidden. So again, here now, going with the eye probe, cleaning all this out. Look at that. It comes out beautifully. And obviously, with the eye wall and the capsule bag, it makes it a lot easier because that bag is keeping the capsule bag open and keeping the posture capsule away from your probe. So again, cleaning out all the lens material. Look at that. Now, that looks so much better. Patient's going to be so much happier. I wanted to show you this video so that you know exactly what happens in these cases. Plus, I want to tell you about retinons.com, our sister channel. I'm going to keep telling you about it. You're going to have to check it out. It really is that amazing. Even if you're a character like me, I promise you will learn so much material that's amazing that you'll say, ah, oh, Catter Coach, thank you. I should have listened to you before. Now, again, with the eye probe, everything's cleaned out. Whoa, look at that. Some hidden material there, sub-incisional. Yeah, take your time to get a nice, good cleanup here. Get all the lens material out of the eye. That is fantastic. And once this is all cleaned up, now you're going to be a happy patient, right? And there'll be a lot less inflammatory load. You know, in a case like this, I may want to even put some triamcinolone inside the anterior chamber just to kind of quell down the inflammation that's already there. Because remember, these lens proteins have not been seen by your immune system generally. And as a result, in the post op period, when you leave that lens material there, you get a tremendous inflammatory response. So you may have to calm that down by some intraocular steroids, intracameral steroids. I like a little triamcinolone, preservative free. You don't need much, maybe a half milligram, at most one milligram. But here going behind the eye wall optic, remove all that. I think that's enough. I wouldn't do too much more here. I think you have all the lens material out. Let's just seal up the incisions, call it a day. And if you're already back here in the operating, you may as well you know, see where the astigmatism is, see if you can do an LRI, a limbal relaxed incision to help neutralize the astigmatism. Again, now the patient's going to be much happier. So I featured this video, not because it's a difficult case, because you could do this too. It's not that big of a deal, right? But to show you what you thought was just a little bit of lens material in the post-op or in the intra-op, when you go see the patient the next day in the post-op period, like, whoa, it swells up. Yes, that's what happens. A little bit of lens cortex that's left in the eye is going to swell up to a lot of lens cortex in the eye. And again, if you have it, oh, you say, it's, oh, it's in the lens bag equator. It's, nothing's going to happen. It's way out there. No, it swells up. It releases from the bag, and it moves right to the visual axis. And then you see it on post-op day one. So if you see a patient of yours where there is some residual lens material, it's okay. Just take them back to the operating room. I know it's a little bit of a stretch. 
You got to go back there, clean it up, and then you'll be happy. And in this case, what a beautiful result. And of course, the air bubbles will resolve with time. That's no big deal. And at the end of the video, let me tell you about RedNorales.com. You know, you knew I was going to say, it, didn't you? Come on. Just do me a favor. Go check it out. I promise. You'll love it. Thanks.